Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part eight. God, we're really killing this game. Part eight of our Outer Worlds journey. Gotta put the headphones on, man. Oh, God, you're right. That's... You didn't have yours on anyway. Well, I was waiting for you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Headphone time. Make sure these are all untangled. I wonder if anyone got a notification. I wonder if your mom got a notification. Probably not. That I was coming to visit her later. Got him. Look at these gentlemen. Welcome back, Haji. Sometimes I worry that Haji Galashi just spends way too much time interacting with us. And I just feel bad because, God, no one should really spend this much time interacting with us. You know what I mean? I'm part of the interactive, and I, even I feel like it's wrong. I'm like, I don't, I don't even want to interact with me this much. And I'm me. Alright, so what are we doing, dude? Well, we never figured out what to really do. You've learned the dimeth... No, is that... Yep. The dimethyl sulfoxide is at the Ministry of Accuracy and Morale... Morale? The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale, along with whatever Chairman Rockwell is working on. Uh... <laughs> He just needs to get to the city and steal it. So, you didn't want to do the sneaky route. Because I feel like there's got to be an alternate way. A game like this never just has one way to do it. You can definitely mow everyone down. That would work. But then the whole city is after me, you know what I mean? Hey, like, did yeah. get transferred or something? Maybe That's we have to stop and look for a walker. Some UDL officers took him into custody. Oh, law, what did they take him for? Oh, law. has been questioning anybody with possible connections to Phineas Wells. And, well, Tillman designed all those wanted posters. This is like one door that doesn't open? Come on. I am just eating my things. I like that you get experience just for discovering vending machines. Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of Oh, this is a real something. person. Oh, fuck. What's our science? It's probably shit. We probably have I think shit it's real bad. I think it's like, it's definitely low, below 50 for sure. God oh, dang it. How's the volume, guys? Is the volume low? Is it good? Is it high enough? What up, third tail? Science. 50? That ain't too low. But it ain't 65. You're right. It ain't 65. And we've learned that if you, if you come back to somebody, it's like five points higher, so... Even a level wouldn't work. Also, we need like two levels. Well, this increases our tech skill by five. <clears throat> That's still not enough. Yes, I'm aware. Thank you. So we need science or tech skill. I feel like I just dripped juice all over myself. You probably did. I did. It was... All attributes minus one. Hmm. Well, you've been no help whatsoever, so... Thanks for that. <clears throat> we have the volume, the, uh, the talking volume all the way up, right? The effects and the voices are what I really care about here. Okay, let's go on this side. Just a bunch of shit. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful painting. Beautiful. Just beautiful art. Just some oxy comp ar aromatic in the bathroom, like you do. And another door that doesn't that isn't actually a door. Another okay. door that doesn't door. So everything on the above floor has been explored. Have we been here? Yeah, we hacked this yeah. computer. Keep him quiet, Cap. Let me should read this. Theodore Isaacs keeps eating my purple berry lunches. I know that sprat toothed little snot is the one doing it. I've seen him with cracker crumbs on his lips and purple berry stains on his lab coat. Working next to him and seeing him pick the remains of my lunch out of his disgusting teeth just makes me want to scream. 
There, I did it. I screamed a little. That felt good. I'm just going to sit in the kitchen and wait for him to do it again. I'll catch him in the act, and then I'll come and write up another entry. I'm going to be so livid. Did that do anything? It looked like it updated our thing. Uh, Caroline, a scientist of the Ministry of Access, an ongoing food Theodore, one of her coworkers. Okay. Okay. I think Caroline was the one upstairs. We yeah, it to. was. If you see any spots <clears throat> loose up here, definitely don't touch them. I don't like if you get too close. Like the office clerk is like way up here in the top. Look how far that is. I'm like, just stay over. Oh, just stay over their head. That's all. You can just go around. You don't have to hack that. Tell me what I have to do. Okay. You're... You're nobody. Anything in here? Okay. Okay. Let's go back upstairs and talk to Caroline. I mean, there are only two options. Right, but maybe there's more now because we know about her feud with Theodore. So I could be like, hey... I know you got a problem with oh, Theodore. Maybe. You want me to murder him for you? Just... Nope, other one. No, I was making sure that wasn't. Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Do you know a Theodore Isaacs? Bam. I knew it. He's eating your lunch too, isn't he? That greedy little sissy pig. <laughs> this is great. I finally have someone else to complain to. Do these people got nothing else to occupy their time? Yeah, for real. You get your turn. Right now, we're talking about Theodore. I'm delivering a formal reprimand to Theodore. Management forgot to send my ID. Oh, yes. Oh, that's no problem. I can get you into the lab. In fact, let's go there now. I told you, you stupid dummy. Theodore's out right now, but we should be ready when he gets back. That way, everyone can see you chew him out. Oh, I got some bad news this for you. This is going to be so good. Don't you don't you recognize that I don't look anything like these people? Like, look at me. Look how I look. <laughs> I don't look anything like you people. Well, maybe it's like everyone else. You take off your helmet when you talk to people. But even then, your armor is like you're clearly not a scientist. Right. Like, <clears throat> and my armor is nothing. Looks nothing like this like standard issue armor that everyone else is wearing. Right. Look at her awkward stairwalk. Yeah, she definitely skipped a couple there. <laughs> and her knees bend real weird. Holt, I need a favor. Pew, pew, Think pew. Think you could let my friend through just this once? Oh, After this is Guard all, Holt. That's a real guy. Fine. But I don't want to hear anything about the catch-up packet incident ever again. And he's on his own if he runs into the guards downstairs. You're the best, Holt. They spell ketchup C-A-T-C-H dash U-P. Which is interesting because if you don't have subtitles on, you'd never know that. Oh wait, she only opened that door we already we already did. We already opened this door, so all she did was she didn't do anything for us really. Hold on. Go on through. Remember, because we like right, but maybe we can go down to the scientist lab. No, he said when you when you talk to her, he's on his own if he runs into the guards down in the, in the lab. All right. Well. Now what does it say? Well, let's find out, I guess. I think this may be the one part of the game where you actually have to sneak for once. Whatever, Michael. No one needs your... No one's... Shut up. Do you think about that? No one you need your no, shut up. Got him. You should save right here, because you can stay in the elevator. Okay, we're saved. We're all saved up. Restricted area requires ID. The board. The board ID. I don't think those guys care. I think it's only guards that care. I think that's true, and that makes it a lot What's easier. What's this I, I hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample 4157? <clears throat> that batch failed spectacularly. I saw a variance in the results that we never accounted for, so I had the techs run the trial again. And the results were 0.003% different this time. Ooh. Mr. Ouch. You know, I could probably steal a bunch of this stuff, but I just don't... It just doesn't feel right. No, oh, this is just a bathroom. This is a locker. 
There's an ID hanging around in one of these. What? An ID. Wait, did you say maybe there is or there yeah, is? Yeah, maybe. Who knows? That's interesting. That's good thinking, though. Can't hurt to check. Nothing here. Oh. UDL identity cartridge right there. Is that, yeah, but is that it? Yeah, I would assume so. I'm gonna F5 it. Steel. It worked. Now remember, we have a limited time on this thing, so. Or limited distance. But if it's an identity cartridge, why is it limited? That's what I'm gonna I think going this way was a mistake. Maybe for you. Yeah, we're almost out. Yeah, but we're also... These They're are our people. They're still in disguises. Why are we still in disguise? I don't know, but I'll take it. <clears throat> oh, jeez. It still doesn't say, like... Maybe your bar ran out, so I'm assuming if they see you, they're gonna... But my hand looks like I'm wearing their uniform. Yeah, I'm still wearing their uniform. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Does anybody know why that is? I don't want a quick save here because I don't want to keep replacing my quick saves in case we do get to a point where we have to like blast our way out. Hey, yep. no visitors allowed, citizen. I'm gonna need to see some identification. Oh, all right, Doctor Endicott can Endicott can vouch for me. You will get caught, but can still get yourself out of it. Oh, wow, fucking Hodge is just in it. Amazing asset. How embarrassing I must have lived at home. You better show me some identification real fast if you want to keep your kneecaps. Jesus. You better show some identification real fast, buddy. What do you think? One? Sure. Well, I may guess. She's still holding the ketchup packet incident over Holt's head. Right? We've talked to her before. She can't keep letting her special friends down here. Hey, I'm extra... Oh, I think we've done this before, haven't we? Yeah, but I don't think we actually did in this playthrough, so we get this option. Just get out of here. I don't want to catch you hanging around. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, yeah, sir. Oh, dang it. He's not looking at you. Go for it. Oh, Jesus. I wouldn't stand by that door opening. <clears throat> Where are we going? We're real close now. Yeah, I think we're good now. Did I get it? Where? Journal. You've learned the dimethyl Okay, uh, you found an empty canister. There should be a way to transfer the dimethyl sulfate into it. For a terminal, I guess. Transfer it. All right. This procedure will result in the invalidation of experiment results and the death of human test subjects. Oh, jeez. Uh, reducing the dimethyl sulfoxide concentration to zero will result in the cancellation of the experiment and the loss of associated data. Experiments on your target detection of fatality can be maintained by leaving a 73.629% concentration and circulation yes yeah, so you get as much as you can but I guess we'd be killing people if we did that <clears throat> in 
interesting. We did save, so we can just try it out. See what Who happens. are we doing this for? For Phineas, or whatever his name is, the the scientist guy yeah. who unfroze us. Man, this game really presents you with a lot of like moral dilemmas. It's really cool. Like it's like it's like it runs you Fallout Three, where you have to blow up Megaton or don't blow up Megaton in the very beginning. Like it's one of your first things to do. Is that what it's called, Megaton? Yeah. Called? Yeah, I don't know. There's nothing really. What do you think? I would just take it all. Hundred percent. Yeah. God damn. <laughs> Oh god. You wanna try doing less? See what happens? I kinda do. Okay. Cause I don't feel good about watching all those people just die. Well didn't it say it's gonna kill some of them anyway? Then what's the point? I don't right. know, let's just try it out and see what happens. Oh no, this is after we already transferred it. You gotta load previous time. Oh, load game. How about intimidate? You want to try that? No, I think that. How about a wink and a smile? What? That's what I asked you. Except you sounded like a wimp. Show some teeth next time. <laughs> we did this already. Uh, okay. Thanks for the tip. Now you really have to go before I call in the other guards. All right. So see, same result. Well, you. I want to make sure he's not looking at you. Okay, now you're good. Oh, he got you. He's just stuck. This area is for authorized personnel only. And and UDL isn't supposed to hire jelly spine milk sops, but here we are. Wow. Uh, relax. How do you think I got here? I. Guess that's what I was wondering. You really think I got past all those other guards if I don't belong? I thought we were both asking rhetorical questions. This got awkward, didn't it? When you put it that way, it does sound pretty unlikely. Still, you should go. I don't think the other guards will be as rational about this as I am. I feel like we can never get through it a second time. The first time we can unlock the door, fine. Go for it, man. Wrong way. Oh, there's another door. That's right. I can't even jump. You can't jump, just not as high as you wish. F5. At Transfer. Continue. 20 times. Okay, everybody lives. Okay. Did it. Now Phineas can yell at us, but I'm just like, whatever, man. You seem like a fucking maniac now anyway, so. Hey, look. Well, how convenient. Can... Mucho, we know what you really wanted to kill everyone. Yeah, it's true. He's actually a monster. That's true, I probably would 100% in my playthrough. You what? Because in theory, this didn't kill those guys, but in theory, we're killing more colonists if we don't take 100%. Is that true? I think so, maybe. We'll find out, I guess. You don't know how science works, Michael. Don't try to pretend <laughs> like you do. I never said I did. I'm just saying that's a possibility. Pew, 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 pew. Like Campbell's tomato soup. Campbell's tomato soup is a possibility? Yeah, that's one of their jingles. What is... What, what's Campbell's the tomato soup. Possibilities. 
fucking 100% made that shit up. I actually didn't. Wait, what about our acting gig? Is that, is that done now? No, we failed that. Well, we didn't fail it. We just completed it badly. Oh, Byzantine Disney. Yeah, that sucks. That makes me sad. I wanted to be a big-ass actor. Well, shouldn't have been so weird with your lines. Oh, shit. Some oh, crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Are they? On my ship? On the Serenity? Wow, look at all the stuff on our ship. I don't think anyone's causing any trouble. Oh, the toilet. I guess that's kind of like when the crew is shooting 600 cans of you really like near molten sell tuna down do a conveyor damage. while I'm Shut up. trying to tune a belt. Here, stand like me. Just so. Get square. Lean forward a little. Just equipment, and you're just an engineer using it. Ah! Okay. Oh, that was I could have just went literally through that door. That's cool. If you do, you have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. I don't know who that is. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. <laughs> and my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. Boy, I know it. Who is this again? Do we know who this is? Nope. You mean stumbling around the colony pretending I know what I'm doing? It got your attention, at least. I'm just getting started. Let's skip the pleasantries. What do you think? I like four. I think you're being modest. Oh, you stop. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. Yeah, a rundown kind of back door, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. You walked through Edgewater and in your wake transformed it from a loyal company town to a haven for dissidents. I'm actually a little impressed. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. I get it. You're well informed. Can I move this along? You almost sound like you approve. I didn't do any of this for you. Hmm. I like two. I was thinking that Not too. always. For the longest time, I could never be sure if you were on our side or against us. You should be back on the Hope frozen in a hibernation chamber. Yet here you are, flying about in a stolen ship leaving a trail of paperwork in your wake. The board doesn't know what to make of you. But I do. I've seen your potential. There's so much we can do for this colony. your potential, Michael. <laughs> you want to talk to me, make your offer. I'm not sure I trust you yet. How do you know I'm, I'm from the Hope? I'm sure you didn't bring me all this way just to flatter me. Ooh, these are These are all pretty good. I like three or four. I like two. Okay. Then let me help you make up your mind. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. Okay. It's my dad. Your people need private security. Anybody could have lifted those chemicals. I'm not here to talk about stolen chemicals. I'm after something far more valuable. Your cooperation. Ooh, Phineas he... Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. God dang. But that's my ship daddy. Wanted for what exactly? He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Doesn't sound that bad. Wells is a dangerous madman. He does His strike me as a real Morty. Danger hey, everyone hey, hey Morty. Halcyon. He's an if obsessive he's psychopath. Rick. Rick. And he's at. using that's you. That's what I'm at. You're in contact with Wells. Where's Morty? I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. Keyboard Cage Fighter, thank you so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. I have been enjoying this game. This game has been great so far. Hold on, getting a lot of noise on the signal. Could you fuck off and never call back again? <laughs> wow. Oh, I never liked the guy. Anyway, you want me to saw him? Can you just betray him right now in, like, the very, like... I would assume so, The yeah. early stage of this game? I don't know if we're at early stages, man. We've been playing a while. It's, like, 15. It's, got, it's like, halfway, maybe. Yeah, so halfway through. But I don't feel like we've really established his character enough to, like, really have a bond with him. 
I also don't think we've established enough to w whether we know what side we want to be on here. Right. But in general, I don't like the board, and she's technically with the board, so. Yeah, so I don't, I, do we just say one of these? I like number one. You want me to sell them out? Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for He's years. He's totally a Rick character, dude. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. Yeah, did you give me those chemicals, I'm Morty? I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells' terminal. When you're done, come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain? Let's get out of here. So we don't have to do it. It's just no. an option. I'd say we, we'll let that one hang out for a while. Yeah, we'll see. let that decision stew for a little bit. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain. And we are still in one piece. Shall yeah, I'm gonna... congratulate myself? I'm gonna need those fucking chemicals, Morty. You gotta, you gotta steal me those chemicals. Listen, Morty, you gotta shove them way up your butt. Morty, you gotta get the chemicals, and you gotta shove them way up your butt, Morty. Yeah, they gotta go way up your butt. You gotta watch that new episode, man. This. You're right. Did you download it? Not yet. Okay. Where's the stream on? I don't even know. Is it on Hulu? It might be on Hulu. Uh, I don't know. Adult Swim was being a, or Cartoon Network was being a big gay baby about that. Before. But they're like they're on Hulu. Like the most Cartoon Network stuff is on Hulu. Like yeah, Adult but like, Swim stuff. I'm just saying, like last year when it when the I got you. Out, they were being like I read about it. Busy in your absence, optimized my formula. I'm now confident I can revive the remaining colonists. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. I'll take as much as you can give me. He sounds really crazy. Forget about the chemicals for a second. The colony is on the verge of collapse. I found your chemicals in the Ministry of the Borders test them on human subjects. Why is the colony on the verge of collapse? It just is, Michael. I like to. Okay. Human test subjects. Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I'd expect out of the board. Okay, interesting. These are all the chemicals I can get anywhere I would kill the subjects. Yeah, let's do that. Damn, that's not enough. Not nearly enough for the whole ship. I could revive a handful of settlers. Maybe, possibly, you know, ten. The colony's on the verge of collapse. The board's been trying to cover it up. I know. I've suspected as much for years. Of course, I don't expect the board to do a thing about it. They've been driving our colony to the brink of destruction for decades. The board's mismanagement put our colony on the road to collapse. If we don't put a stop to them, thousands of colonists are going to die. It gets worse. The chairman's planning on freezing every worker in Halcyon. The board's got a plan to save us. They're going to freeze all the workers. I don't think that's going to save us. I like one here. Oh, hold on. Uh, let me see if I understand this correctly. You're saying that Halcyon's on the brink of total collapse? And the chairman's plan to save all of us is to save himself? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board made this crisis, and now they want to solve it by freezing the rest of us? What up, Super That's Fritz? not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. Do you realize what this means for the Hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out into space, just to make room in their hibernation chambers. <clears throat> what do you think about this? There has to be something we can do. So that's it. We just give up. All that trouble I went through was for nothing. The, this colony is a mess. I'll be glad to put it behind me as soon as I get a chance. I think I think one is good. Yeah. Short of lining up every member of the board and shooting them in the back of the head. Jesus. Do you know what's waiting for us on the Hope? Scientists, engineers, artists, the brightest minds Earth ever sent us uncorrupted by the board. the board the board's going to dispose of them all and transform the hope into a prison for the rest of us they're likely on their way to the hope as we speak we need to get to those colonists before the board i have enough chemicals to start reviving a few of them but no easy way to get them off the hope there's a way it's not exactly safe but we could skip the hope into the system i'm open to suggestions can we just skip the part where you asked me to do something insane Skip to the part. Let's... Merciful gibbering law! You're a genius! Buddy, I know. We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space. 
right next to my lamp. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal. The hope's probably damaged. We'll have to we'll have to route power from the unreliable. I wasn't being entirely serious. Did you not hear the part where I said it's not exactly safe? All right. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I don't understand a word you said, Doc. All I know is, if we're going to hijack a colony ship, count me in. <laughs> yes, excellent. I approve of your enthusiasm, young man. You should ask your captain Super for Fritz. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary Fake power Rick. the unreliable. Oh, that's then what we were just saying. I don't know bridge. if you were here for that. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. I'll do it. You want to say I'll do it? Yeah. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers. Scientists, engineers, experts in their field. I feel like there's a if twist we here. Work together, we can still find a way to that feeling? save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from Oblivion, then we have to take it. Yeah, I do kind of feel like there's something about this guy that we don't know yet, but... The adjutant asked me to plant a tracking signal in your lab, but I'm not going to do it. I wanted to talk about the hope. Let's, let's do the first one. You absolutely should. I can't stop being sarcastic. I was actually expecting a thank you. You've got a plan of some sort. The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. That should buy me some time. I get it. You want to prepare. You're sure you're okay with this? I'll take care of it. You sure you're okay with this? The enemy is bound to discover my hideout sooner or later. I'm prepared for that eventuality. This is just my way of buying myself a little time. There was Use time now. Use my communications now. terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. Let's talk about the hope for a second. Certainly. How can I help? Uh, just so we're clear, you know, skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this. People aren't going to notice a gigantic colony ship slamming into the rings of Terra 2. Unlikely. The Hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just so we're clear, you know, the skip drives aren't supposed to be used like this. Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay, oh, okay well then. Should I expect any resistance? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. All right, well. Level up. Yay. What's a hibernation helmet? Ah, your old hibernation mask. Had to remove it, you know, in case you were prone to vomiting. What does it do? What does it do? Yeah, there you go. That's the stuff. Do, 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 Just like do, to make sure you're on the right quest. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my daddy. Michael B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, this is the last one, and then we get to go to the next level. The no. next level. No. Tactical time violation recharge rate. That seems that's good. good. Yeah, that's that's, I was like, ooh, that's nice.
And skills. Next one. Uh, long guns, heavy guns. I don't think we need anything in that really. I like, I like more leadership stuff. You want to keep going? Yeah, it's oh, yeah, we want to go to 60, 60 don't we? Yeah. Let's see what the other one does at 60. Companion gets an additional 25% of the inhaler's healing effect. Yeah it's, yeah, it's not as good. And now we should put more into talky stuff. Oh, into talky stuff. A little talky talky. Uh, human cower. Okay, those are all. Oh, wow. Nyoka adds 13 to your to your lie. That's pretty good. No alert notifications or email when they went live. Um, is What's a better way? Can you guys check the Discord? Are you guys in Discord? Because you'll get notifications like... Yeah, Discord's usually pretty consistent. Like, the general channel usually has... Uh, when I go live. It went, up, it, went, it went up at 124. And we've been live for 35 minutes. So, that's actually almost exactly... No, we've been live for 42 minutes. So, yeah, that's almost exactly when we went live. If you guys check Discord, the general channel, you should definitely get... Like, if you have the notification set for Discord whenever there's a post, like, in the general channel. Like, I put it in, into... I put at least 65 in Intimidate, because 65 seems to be the next barrier of stuff. I keep running into Intimidate 65 with a lot of things. A lot of things? Hmm. I'll put some in guns here. Okay. It just doesn't seem worth it to me. I like guns, Michael. I'm, I'm an American. I just feel like we have no problem killing enemies. Maybe you don't. <laughs> what do we got here? Damage plus 25 for 5 seconds. Uh, harmful status effect duration is 30% lower. Plus 20% chance to resist ability cooldown on kill. Hmm. Reset ability cooldown. Um, Some other stuff. This seems good. Increase damage dealt by a companion for a short time after performing their ability. So you perform their ability and they get 25% more damage for 5 seconds? That oh, that's not real bad. good. I feel like it's fine. Do you have any armor to give that guy? Still not? We should give him some armor at some point. Well, if we get some, we'll give it to him. Gosh. Okay, what are we doing? We're going to journal, getting our uh long distance. Oh, well, fine. Let's go and send a tracking signal. Oh, wrong way. I don't know why you're going over here. What do you mean the ship's over here? We're not going to the ship. What? You got to do the track thing. Oh, I thought it was on the ship. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Yeah, you're probably right about the tinkering. I forgot about tinkering. Oh well. Oh well. Send a corrupted tracking signal or a regular tracking Definitely signal? Corrupt. <laughs> okay. All right, ready? Yeah. Ah, oh, that should do it. Then we gotta go back to ADA. Go back to what? Go we'll talk to the ADA. The ADA? Mm -hmm. You mean Ada? The ADA. Oh my god. I don't think her name is. Is her name Ada or is she just an ADA? It's like, like her thing. You know, there's a national song called Ada. ADA. Spell ADA. And M Mo. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells does not. You have a message from adjutant Sophia Akande. You used to think I'm the song is called Captain. ADA. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Here we go. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the mm. signal before we could pinpoint his location. Damn it. So Still, it's only deal. a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Oh, yeah, for sure. Let's talk about it. Wait, how do you know this isn't a trap? How do I know this isn't a trap? Because I'm not in the business of arresting my own allies. You have my word. Meet me in my office. I've authorized your ship at my personal landing pad. Oh. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign up. That was rude. 
Will there be anything else, Captain? No, B. All right, we're crashing into this, bro. To the right one. Well, yeah. Come on, don't be a Mitch. Well, there's two of them, so. Oh, are there two of them? Oh. One is the the one is the Edutante edu Akande's landing pad. It's clearly not that one. I don't know. It could be. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Sending a corrupted tracking signal to the board was quite clever, if I might say, Captain. Yeah, I know. I'll lock up behind you. Kind of a big deal. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good team. It's not the best choice, Michael. It's Spacer's choice. Good to know. Your bro wants to talk to you. You know, they're going to make a serial about our adventures one day. Oh, God. I've been trying to think of a good title for this episode. I like the sound of the, the skip job. The skip job. No, 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 wait, I got it. Gave your mom a skip job last night, if you know times. what I mean. Hmm. Get it? Hope? Like the ship. That's what folks in the business call wordplay. Not bad, Felix. Our adventure serial's gonna need a name, too. Yeah, I've been thinking about that. Got a list right here. Thrilling tales of the unreliable. What did you or do with Ellie? Who's Ellie? Spine-chilling stories Have we from the edge of the yet? system. Was also considering astounding adventures in the other. I'm partial to that last one. I prefer the adventures of Borton Company. <laughs> I'm glad you're having fun, but we've got a job to... That answers my question. Okay. <laughs> oh, dang. Did we miss a companion? I bet we did. Squeeze the bridge of your nose. Oh, Felix. How about this one? Felix's adventures and shutting up and doing as he's told. Jeez. I like one. Not bad. Got a nice ring to it. Borton Company. Stealing the hope from the board, skipping it across the whole damn system. How do we miss a whole this companion? Be great. Because we haven't done side wait. quests. And like some of the some of the the companions are side quest companions, you know. Well, we haven't uh, finished them, but we did some of them. You missed two. We missed two. How do we miss two side? How do we? Because you're possible? always like, just do the main quest, just do the main quest, just do the main quest. Well, thing. we have done side quest stuff. Yeah, but just because you haven't, you've done some, doesn't mean you're gonna get the companions that are. You know what? I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. Enough to boost my pay? Eh, I'm just kidding, boss. I know you don't pay me. Wow. I'm sure you've got plans to make. As for me, I gotta keep practicing my signature drop kick. The hope might have cameras. I want to go get these companions, though. Can we do that? That seems like a relevant portion of the game that I, I want to be a part of. Is that a dinosaur? Yeah, probably. Fuck, I love dinosaurs. You have this really weird knack for always going the wrong way. You have this really weird knack for never shutting the hell up, you know that? <laughs> Fake doors. No, don't go this way. You don't want to go to the early retirement district? No, we already did that. Whatever, man. Yeah, it's because of our antisocial natures. Usually companions are like thrown in your face. Not this game, Michael. Not this game. The others were. No, they were not all of them. Vicar Max was when we had to literally Ellie, go back and Ellie comes from a side quest on the ground baker was asking because she has some unique stuff on around here for once. Be as a nothing burr, wrong burr, with burr, stability burr, 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 it means burr, burr. everything's running like should we go do it ah! we might as well do this first since we're already here I don't I just worry I always worry about getting to a point where you can't go back your legs have been damaged too many times and your movement speed has now been permanently low Oh, okay. I was like, wait, really? Movement speed negative 30, you're unable to dodge. I, no. no way. Movement speed minus 30, that literally just makes the game 30% slower. That seems terrible. That's literally true, yes. What's done just wasting 30% of your time. 
I got things to do, man. I reject my broken legs. <laughs> Correct. Correct. We're going to the, we're going to steal the hope, right? No, we're doing we're speaking to Oh, I don't want to talk to her. Why not? We're just talking to her. We already sent a signal. Why wouldn't you talk to her? We got to hear both sides of the story, man. What side? I don't... Are you kidding me? Why would you just complete this quest? Because I don't think it's a completed quest. I think she's going to send us on a bunch of shit to do that I'm not going to want to do. Well, we cannot do that part. What does that mean? find out. It's just like, why wouldn't we just find out? We're right here. Fine, Michael. <laughs> Come on, man. I haven't done it yet. Quest, go to the principal's office. Wow. What up, weirdos? Look at your creepy mask. I like this ornate handle this gun has. Oh, yo, what up, girl? I admit, part of me expected you to stand by your old friend. For better or worse, Wells was responsible for putting you back on your feet. That said, he's also a wanted criminal. For That's information regarding his whereabouts, you are entitled to collect a reward from Percival. I thought that too. I was like, "That's a lot." Tell me why you wanted to see me. Get a mini tournament. What's going to happen to Wells? Uh, that's why I want to see me. I understand you've infiltrated the ministry. The things you discovered there must have been shocking, even disturbing. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. <laughs> I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. So that's your solution? Put the whole colony on ice? People ain't gonna stand for this. We'll fight back. We'll tear down the walls of Byzantium. No, Mr. Millstone, you will not. The workers of Halcyon will do exactly as they are told, as they always have. Your dreams of a people's revolution are the juvenile fantasies of a frustrated child. Guess monarch folk ain't the only ones fucked around here. That ain't exactly an uplifting thought. I know your face. Stellar Bay's most infamous hunter. How curious that you've thrown your lot in with the captain. Monarch may harbor delusions of independence, but make no mistake. You are a part of our colony. If we fall, Monarch falls with us. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse. But there is a way to save it. Oh, wow. What is it? We need to talk about this lifetime employment program. I'll answer however I can. You don't honestly believe all this lifetime employment nonsense, do you? How long do we have? What do we need? What does it need to have to do with me? What's your take on all this? No more questions. Someone wants to see me. The lifetime employment program is not some malevolent strategy of an evil mastermind. There's no dark secret buried in the fine print. The program is logical. It's reasonable. It's merciful, and most importantly, it will work. Uh, I saw the presentation. Rocco wants to sacrifice the colony to save Byzantium. Byzantium is the beating heart of our colony. And as long as Byzantium survives, Halcyon may one day recover from the collapse. We must protect this city at any cost. Help me execute the lifetime employment program. And you will have earned a place of honor in Byzantium. You will live in comfort and want for nothing. What does that need to have to do with me? How long do we have? We've already crossed the point of no return. So this is just about climate change, right? The has already begun. You must have noticed the signs in Emerald Vale. 
malnutrition, disease, high mortality rates. This is a permanent famine, Captain. We've done all we can to curb their hunger. Very soon, people are going to realize they're starving. A famine is a problem of logistics as well as marketing. Your workers must remain productive on as little food as possible. Jesus. And they must always believe that food is plentiful. So this game is basically uh, a world where corporations have really taken over uh, and everyone's going to die due to climate change. That's oh, starvation in this case, but you know, an epidemic that's that's the result of the corporations taking over. Yeah. Huh. That's what that research in Roseway was all about. How did you manage that? That's disgusting. Your workers are starving and you're feeding them lies. Perception. Before you interfered in Roseway, Dr. Anton Crane was on the verge of developing a powerful appetite suppressant. It would have made his career. The solution is a temporary one. Before long, our workers are going to feel the effects of starvation. The lifetime employment program is our only viable option. What does any of this have to do with me? When you turned Phineas Wells over to me, I knew I could rely on you. You've demonstrated your ability to place duty above sentiment. Well, you know, about and you that. deliver results. That quality alone is enough to separate you from the board's army of indecisive bureaucrats. I'm with you. I want to save Halcyon as much as you do. Our interest may align, but make no mistake, we're not friends. Not a fan of the bureaucracy, Sophia. Hmm. Two. Do you know how many meetings I have to sit through? How many papers I have to sign before I can make one decision? I'm only trying to rescue Halcyon from extinction. I can't save this colony alone. I need someone capable of working outside the system. Someone who can get things done. When I first discovered the truth, I was shocked. Even disgusted. I wondered how we'd allowed a colony like Halcyon to fall into disarray. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized the colony had sown the seeds of its own destruction. We have become lazy and decadent. We smother ourselves in meaningless bureaucracies. We deliberate and argue and procrastinate. Uh, that's a pretty good argument for getting rid of the board entirely. That's not the kind of language I expect from a chairman's own ad adjutant. And I agree with you. I like one. I admit, I occasionally fantasize about making an executive decision without having some tedious committee questioning my every move. Do you have any idea how much paperwork is involved in ordering someone's execution through the usual channels? It's positively maddening. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. You handed Edgewater over to a band of dissidents. I can't have this. Adelaide McDevitt and her people have no place in the Halcyon that is to come. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. Jesus. Are you out of your mind? We're not going to murder a town of innocent people. You will do exactly as you're told, what? or I will have you shot for insubordination. I will hunt beasts until I'm out of ammunition, and then I'll fight a good long while after. But I am not about to mow down a crowd of innocent people. Then I suggest you find your courage. Or pretend you're hunting beasts. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. Nah, you can go fuck yourself. Uh, you are completely insane. The answer is no. I don't understand what it adds like to. Yeah, that's wrong. You replaced a loyal, if hard-headed, town leader with a revolutionary. Adelaide's people have turned Edgewater into a hot West of massacre distance. whole town. These people are dangerous. All they're doing is growing their own food and living outside the, the system. We need to put them down. Now. Why me? We're talking about human lives here. The board is responsible for this colony. This is all your fault. I uh, like three or two. Because we were negligent. You're right, the colony can't possibly feed itself. And it's our fault. This is our mess. And the only way we're cleaning it up is by taking action. I'm not asking you to be a murderer. 
I'm asking you to be a surgeon. Wow. Edgewater is a necrotic limb on the body of the colony. It must be severed. Jesus Christ. I understand. It's really just, they're just living outside the system and growing their own food. In fact, yeah, they're self-sufficient, not a strain on the colony's resources. Yeah, exactly. Don't fool yourself. The dissidents occupying Edgewater are rebels harboring dangerous and seditious ideas. Left to their own devices, their numbers will grow. Graham what up, Dr. Jeff and his merry band of morons caused enough trouble on Monarch. I won't risk the same thing happening in Edgewater. You are completely insane. No. Allowing thousands of colonists to starve to death because we couldn't make one cold-blooded decision is insane. What I'm suggesting is it's absolutely not. logical. <laughs> it has nothing to do with Steal you. Steal your spine, Captain. Do what needs to be done. The answer, the answer is, is no. no. Yeah, it's like not Don't even close, this dude. More difficult than it needs to be, Captain. I rather like you, and I'd hate to have you shot for disobeying a direct order. See what you order. did. But now we get to kill these guys. It's awesome. Go to hell, Sophia. I'm disappointed. I was so sure you had potential. Hit. And you're dead. Probably pull out a machine gun for this one. What? Probably bring out a machine gun for this one. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. You fucking idiots. Oh, I just got over encumbered. God damn it. Is there a vending machine here? You should give your bro some armor. That'll take a little weight off. Hey, boss. Got a hypothetical for you? Oh, that's right. You got a friend, see? Somebody you knew when you were growing up. You were close. Then one day... Is he going to give us a quest right here now? Five years go by, they send you a message out of the Aether. What's going through your head? Uh, are you going somewhere with this? That's cute. What's her name? Shock and disbelief scene. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> you got the wrong idea, boss. It ain't like that. Damn the, the man. Save the Harlow. Empire. He was an old friend of mine. Honestly, he was probably my first and longest friend. I just heard from him. He says he wants to talk to me. He says it's urgent. This is obviously important to you. Let's go. Clyde's waiting for us on Scylla. What he's doing on an asteroid, I can't begin to imagine. I appreciate this, boss. I know you're going out of your way for me. You ever had asteroids before? No. Painful, dude. Uh oh, Jesus. Oh, that might be better than ours. Fifty-one, fifty-three. Yep, might as well switch them out and give them that one. Well, this is skills plus five. We'll see. Other Ranged one. weapon skills plus five. This one is stealth skills minus five, block plus five. I think this one's still better. Okay. Yeah, it's only a couple points. We might as well just give it to him then. How's what's her is that? You can get to either one. Eleven, four. How you doing on your head? How you doing on your little headpiece? Okay. We are at one oh one out of a hundred right now. Dang it. I wish I didn't pick this up. Just Mike. drop it. I don't wanna I am Michael, I'm a hoarder. You, you, you can lose three coins, man. Just drop that thing. Is it worth three? 5.6. I'd really get rid of this. this okay, is, sure. Uh, yeah, all right, that's fine. Uh, how do I drop it? X. X, yeah. Okay. Okay. We well. Check her body? Yeah, that's where I'm going. You got anything? That's it? Seven bullets and one. You son of a. Don't pick that stuff up. Yeah, I oh, haven't forbid I stole from here. No, I just meant because, you know, wait. Yeah, okay, I thought you were like... What's that to the left? 
Hold on. Oh, oh, damn it! That tactical shotgun shouldn't have picked up the shotgun. All right, well, let's get rid of something. Look, how many? Six hundred ninety-five. Is that a lot? It's more than this. Not more than that, though. Yeah, but like these ones, like these, whatever those shotguns are, every time we use them, they just don't do damage. I don't know if there's something wrong with them or something wrong with you. Wow. Drop one of the machine guns. 63. Yeah, that's fine. Um, How many do we have? We only got one, right? You can drop that. Grenade launcher? That's the only grenade launcher we have. Yeah, but it does not It does 173 damage. It doesn't matter if it's a grenade launcher. It's still shit. Fine. Goodbye, grenade launcher. Where is that going? To the left, you said? Yeah, Cause... I just want to see what's over on the left. That's like the here? Right. That's the left. If I'm facing this way, it's, this is the left. No, you were looking at the elevator, and then you turned to the right. Over here. Yes. What's that? Nothing. It looks like something to me. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure that would open that door. Well, that was weird. Where's this go? Guess Let's we'll find out. Guess we'll find out. You really should do the Vicar's side quest at least. It's great. Okay. Felix's side quest is cool. Okay, cool. As long as you guys Any are... machines right there. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Let's get rid of Sell our... our junk first. Okay. Uh, what is it? Sells E. Shock Cannon Ultra. No. Flamethrower. Did I have a right? Flamethrower sucks. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I'd sell on that one. It's only like 360. I think all of our guns are better at this point. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true, I guess. It was our little sniper rifle, though. We put a bunch of money in it. It was our little sniper rifle. Isn't my current gun just better than this by a lot? Yeah, it is. It's like four something. You okay, man? I also don't really need that. This? No. You alright? Yeah, I just got a... You like got a little crick? Yeah, it's like a thing on my back. It just... I don't know what it is. Is it your back itself? No, it's like to the left of my back. To the left? To the left? Come it's on. It's like that no. muscle. I don't know what it's called. We should keep some alcohol. Just oh, in, in case. case you want to get crunked? No, just in case we need to bump our skills a little bit. Bump them. A bottle of pure melted pack ice? What does that even mean? Mind attributes plus one. Uh, critical. Got anything cool to buy? I doubt it. The good word. More and sell. Oh, that's our stuff already, I guess. Ammo. And a bunch of... No, this is all... This is all 46 hot. 46 ain't bad, but... Everything else is pretty trash. All right. Are these different? Oh, looks like yeah. they are different. 10? Wow. 41? Is that good? We could give it to... My dad. Yeah, we give it to your dad. Oh, no, I'm good. He's good, too. Yeah, he's going to attack you no matter what, so... Hmm. Do you want to go through these guys, or do you want to go through the other guys? Well... Forget about your companion going abilities. Down. You're going down. Jesus. Covering you. We're alive. Anything good? 
Nah. Our first three guns are just pretty much unbeatable. You and your shotgun's pretty good. Okay. Oh, let's check the armor as well. 29. 54. Is 29 better than one of their helmets? Uh, we have 29 and 29 here. Let's find out. 11. 62. 29. 26. Okay, so the armor is better on you. And the helmet is better on you. Now you're looking, you're looking slick. You're looking slick, boss. Returning fire. Is that, is that, is that, I can't tell who the, no, okay. What? What were we saying? I think they do no damage to you. Well, this whole town is against us now. No, oh, just the guard. Ooh. 53. Is that Ooh. better than ours? Yeah, ours is 35. No, that's on you. No, that's on. Oh, that's Felix. Dang it. 54. Fish so close. 35 versus 29. All right, you can get this one. Get a nice little upgrade. And what was yours? 35? Okay. Man, you guys are getting lucky. I might as well sell this other stuff. No, I was actually going to mention that, yeah. While we're right here. All right. I'll keep that. Meh. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, my bad. I don't think you heard him. They just look the fucking same. Everybody looks the same, dude. Ooh, well, let's tinker. Can we tinker? Oh yeah, we're tinkering. What do we got here? Oh, it's gonna cost three thousand to tinker on that. Two fourteen for that. Not bad. Hmm. You have a one for that. Definitely that one. Really? Yeah. Okay. Where's our goal? What's what are what's our? I don't even know what our quest is right now. Oh, literally nothing. This is just an enemy planet now. Well, we already completed all the other quests on this planet. Sophia's pleased with your work. Check with Percival for your reward. Oh, it's botched. Yeah, I I know. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. This is like a personal landing pad. Yeah, I think this is where we would have landed if we landed here instead of on the other side. You know. And then we would have went right through here. So what you're saying is the one that I thought might have been the right one was the right one? No, because I didn't think we were doing that quest. I thought we were doing the Phineas quest. Oh, okay. I'm I literally did didn't even want to go here, and you were like, no, let's do it, we're right here. And I'm we like, got a bunch of experience and a bunch of cool guns. Or yeah, go but like it changed the whole course of the game, you know? Which I guess is fine. We're against the colony, we're eventually going to be down this path. Just gorgeous. All right, let's get out of here. I feel like I just I feel like this is uh it's gonna be really hard to like kill everyone in this whole city. Just the guards. 
What? Just the guards. You're gonna kill the regular peeps. Yeah, but like the guards are all over the streets and stuff too, you know? It's not just like guards and like... No. Oh. Turn around, there's gonna be a bunch of guards when we get to the bottom too. Oh, really? Yep. Let's collect our booty. This feels weird because it feels like we shouldn't have done this. Like, you know, it feels like something you're not supposed to do. But, like, it's definitely the just the natural course of the game. Yeah, I guess we could have never went to her, but I was, like, very curious as what she had to say. Are these guys going to fight us? No, they're just... No, they're not going to do anything. They're just gonna go back to work, I guess. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Where are these skill points going, my dude? You wanna do lie? Uh, I think our lie is good with her. Oh, it's actually with 80, that's true. I'm gonna do five more and intimidate, or we can go down to like. Our persuade is 97, jeez. That's actually insane. Oh, because Felix gives you 33? Might as well put three in there to get 100, right? That's pretty nuts. Maybe five and intimidate. Sure. Um, what does inspiration do? More, more inspiration do. I don't know. I can see putting him in. Eighty expert inspire companions kill an enemy that came. Uh, when companions kill an enemy, that's not that great. What about determination? Was the healer's in inhaler's healing effect? Whatever. Yeah, I think we can just leave this at sixty. I think that's all we really need out of it. Long guns, handguns. Yeah, now this is at 60, so we get uh, nothing, I guess. Thank you. Oh, who cares with the resub? Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. All right. You ready? Mm hmm. Keep on moving. Keep on shooting guards. Yeah, this, this town's going to be like. Just decimated by the time we're done. Oh, Jesus. Are you a bad thing? You're just a gardener? Alright. I couldn't hear you. I was like, what? What are you saying? I was like, wow, I guess this doesn't do any damage. More where that came from. Is there? Is there more where that came from? You got some elite armor, that might be good. It's probably shit. You see how quick these guys went down? It's probably garbage, dude. 29, 29, 53, 29. That's pretty good. Yeah, this is the one we had, though, right? Block plus 5 stealth, minus 5, but this gives plus 5 to all ranged weapon skills. Like, that just seems better, because it's... Well, then give it to your your friend. Where, where did the... Oh, in combat? Mm, I don't think so. I guess we'll do it later. All right. Well. Oh, we might just be in combat while we're in the city. It might just be one big combat. What, what are you doing this?
Are you still? All right. I really wish they didn't look the same. Come on, Master Chief. I feel like I can easily steal this stuff now, because who's gonna care? It's not even good. What about this ordnance control it's armor gold? It's only 29. Whatever, man. It's light armor, but that don't matter. <laughs> See, that's just funny. Oh, that's a weapon part. That's a leg. All right, there was another guard somewhere. You know, Nioka, between you and me, we know all there is to know about Monarch. Big mistake, honey. Where did you guys come from? Oh, that's your, that's my dude. Oh, there you are, okay. Do we get anything better? 33, 53, 54, 53, 29, 29. Okay. And they're still in combat? Okay. How many weapons we got? Eh, nothing great, I guess. There's like one dude in front of us, I guess. Yeah, I feel like that's all of our guns at this point. They're all pretty good. Elite troop armor, more like a little bitch armor. Man, he covers a lot of ground. He's like 10 feet away and he's like, or like 20 feet away and he's like, hey, I'll get you. Oh, that's my guy. It's your boy. The ground yet, I'll take all your shit before you even land. I got things to do. I can't. I don't have time to wait for you to. Now just calm down. Here you go, man. I was looking for. I was looking. I'm looking at the top to find the guy so I can just clear out the city. Kind of. All the, I think all the citizens are gonna show up. So I'm gonna follow. No, there's way more citizens. Man, if there was a perk to reload faster, I'd take that in a heartbeat. I think there might be. Well, I haven't seen it if there is. See, look, like, here's a guy. Well... Yeah, alright, maybe they do show up red. Okay. That's interesting. Or oh, just skedat. I'm at 103 again. Your weight is three. Perfect. Yeah, there's all these guys. Oh no, you know. didn't. Yeah. No. Why is that fucking robot sound like a dinosaur, man? Oh, okay, cool. We can give them stuff now. All right, so you're 35. This is 53. 62, I don't think it's going to be better than that. Right. Is that better than ours? Yeah. Well, interesting. Why did we give them the 62? Oh, it's because of the stealth skills, I guess? I don't know. That's fine. No, we like the plus 5 to range weapons. Yeah. So that's fine. 52, 53, 29, 53. Alright. Seems good. Please don't, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! <laughs> Alright, take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. I just gotta go to your chip. 
Uh, your chip? Yeah. Take a... Oh, I see what you did there. So we're going to want to go this way and then take a left. So anyway, you know, Nioka, between you and me, we know all there is to know about Monarch. Oh god, he's like, let me continue what with what I was say saying. That? Well, you've got your life experience as a hunter, and I've memorized every episode of Terror on Monarch. Oh, Terror on Monarch's a riot. It's all made up. I like that we're in the same you know clothes that, now. Right? Yeah, right. Next you're gonna tell me. So this is a mission or just for the hell of it? This is a mission. I will tell you. It was a mission that went kind of awry. Yeah, I I I don't know what they're like she wouldn't let you say no and not like attack Well yeah, because that's not because then what's she gonna do? Alright, well I'll see you later. Thanks for considering it. Yeah, that would be the nice thing to do. She is not nice. You wanna go the other way. You wanna go towards the green thing. I hate you so much. Oh yeah, this is gonna be rough. Oh shit, you're right. Peekaboo, my dude. Assault rifle ultra, though. Three pounds? It's probably gonna be worth more than what we have. It's like 90. These weigh five? Yeah, we can Was just there any this. vending machines here? I doubt it. No. What is this? No. A workbench? Uh, we can probably go to a workbench and actually get rid of some of this stuff. No, it's to your left. It's is it? Is it? I think so. it. No, this is just a... No, what are you talking about? It's to my right. Or it's... No. Yeah, it's to my right. Yeah, it's literally facing it. And you're like, no, it's the... Oh, it's literally right here. I'm looking right at it, Michael. We're on a mission from God. Yeah, so we can break down some of this bullshit. This. Sure. This. Mm. Might as well. Stop saying might as well. Those shotguns suck. What about this one? I don't need it. Okay, what do we got here? 29, 29. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. 33? No. 29? No. 53? I'm gonna keep some of these in case we want to equip the other people in our party. Okay. Hey, look, it's my ship. What should we do next? You mean after we murdered this whole town? Yeah. Go find uh we should get our other companions. You killed the adjutant? We are outlaws in the truest sense of the word now. Well, she started it. We could also just go to the hope and keep the main quest going. Well someone said we should do the Vicar Max quest. Oh, it's still in our journal, yeah. isn't it? Um companion quest. Felix wants okay, so that's Pervati, Vicar Max. Uh, map. Is it here? No. We gotta go here. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know which one to go to, so we're gonna go to. Uh, uh the request you have checking out Well, Skelly Landing Pan or Harlow's base? Not Harlow's base. Okay. They both had quest markers on them, so that's interesting. Destination reached. Scylla. Why you gotta be so Scylla, Michael? We'll be here, Captain. <coughs> oh. Take it easy. Everybody's like wearing super fucking heavy armor, and she's just like. I'm good. Because we haven't used her in a while. We could use her. Yeah, I agree. Captain? 
We'll just give her some armor right away, pretty much. Oh, really? Do you think so, Michael? Do you think we should get some armor right away? Hey, I hate everything about you. Oh, everything. Okay. I'm giving everybody the same. Okay, so his armor is... Eh, not, not terrible, actually. So she can just get this. Oh, yeah, what do you got? This? Get that shit out of here. Oh, so both 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 companion quests are on this planet. That's great. That's real convenient. That saves us time. Oh fuck! Man, you are just just really nailed it. Amazing. I'm. So oh god. You're hurt. Oh, heal yourself, there, chief. I'll heal naturally over time. You won't. Yes, I will. Oh, does it actually heal? Yeah, look oh, at it. Oh, does go. very slowly. It's slow. I ain't got nowhere to go though. But we have like a million suck healths. Suck healths? Yeah. We have a million stim packs or whatever they're called. Suck health? Do you think they're called suck healths? They might be. Are these bad guys? Probably. I'm sure you'll probably just murderate them. I don't think you're. Got yeah, but Mike, about. I like building the suspense, my dude. What was that? Here they come. Oh no, those guys are, are rough. Oh wow. Never mind. Not anymore, they're not. And those things used to like really do us in. <laughs> I think we're we're too strong for this planet right now. Well done. We are victorious. Yeah, you killed that robot in like two shots. Those things used to literally eat our lunch. Yeah, remember how long it took to kill that thing? We were like, oh my god, it's so strong. And now we're like, uh like our gun does like eight hundred damage. Don't waste my motherfucking time! That's what I that's what I said to the robot. You sure did. Buddy? We're getting close to the hermit. I can feel it. Ooh, yeah, sell some stuff for you. Really? I don't think I we have know. that much, man. We have like nothing to sell. You might as well sell that. This? Yeah. Both of them. I was keeping this because tech skills plus five. It was just nice to put on sometimes. Sometimes you just want to throw it on, you know? I want it all. Here they come. A little problematic. They don't do any damage to us, but they just have a lot of. That was a little a tricky. Armor. That was trickier. Trickier than the normal gentlemen. Oh, those things have a bunch of armor. Let's go to the Hermit's Lodge. Hey man, you ever been to the Hermit's Lodge? Yeah, you gotta have an outfit for when you just wanna feel a little sciencey. You wanna get dressed up and. sealed. Hermit herself. What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris? Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? <coughs> I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. Maybe. We're here to get this book translated, Max. That depends. Who are you? Uh, yeah, we are here to rob you. What do you got? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go with one. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry, and the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I have spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. <laughs> Look, can we just move along here, please? Uh, Hermit Lady, enough talk. How about you throw Max here a bone? We've come a long way to help Max get some peace. Is there anything you can do to help? Yeah, let's just be nice about it. There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of oh, several I gotta go, like, farm some ingredients. 
some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. What happens if you're unprepared? Well, Max just said he was prepared, didn't he? When you say ingredients, you mean drugs, right? <laughs> well, like three. A crass way to put it, but yes. Chemicals that can expand or destroy the participant's consciousness. What happens if you're unprepared? Well, Max just said he was prepared, didn't he? And I believe he may be right. There is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. Uh, I don't know, Captain. Is this safe? I don't think this is safe. You can go back to the ship if you're uncomfortable. It's safe if I say it as we're doing this. I'm not sure. Let me think this over. How about this one? Sure. Well, I don't want to leave you all on your lonesome. I I'll just... Oh, fine. I'll do it. All right. Head on into the meditation room and partake of oh, the God, sacramental we're gonna, incense. We're gonna have it's a, waiting on the table when a you're vision ready quest. to begin. I hope this isn't like the fallout crazy bullshit where they like change all your perceptions and stuff. I never like stuff like that. You probably just get high and you have to do a quest while high and it's ready to weird. breathe deeply. We'll save first. To skip, hold, enter. I'll just let it. I'll let it do its thing. Oh, we Maximilian, why are you still doing this? You've been fighting against the world since before you left home. It's literally a vision quest. <laughs> <Haven't you figured laughs> That's funny. Yet that the more you fight, the more pain you cause yourself. Mother, you're dead. Tell your children not her. to walk my way. This was too good to be true. Mother, These are just cheap that have. Uh, 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 What's happening to my voice? Does my voice sound weird to you? And what's wrong with your face? Y'all see these stars I'm seeing? Gosh, they're pretty. Oh my gosh. Shimmers. <laughs> so basically y'all just did shrooms. That's all that really happened. Your mother's right, Max. We should listen to her. If she's a hallucination, why am I seeing her too? Right? The first time, Max. This is all bullshit. Don't fall for it. See what happens if you hit her. <laughs> I like to. We are obviously the victims of a tasteless joke being perpetuated. Uh, perpetrated? I mean, we're being made fools of, aren't we? When I get out of here, I'm going to show that hermit what you get for messing with me. Maximilian, always ready to give up, to lash out, always searching for answers, but always in the wrong place, never looking inside. I hope you'll pardon my interruption, but I think it's because he's unhappy with himself. We came all this way. We ought to at least hear her out. Okay, Vision Mom, how about giving us answers instead of hollow platitudes? Don't listen to this crap, Max. You're right. This is all just a sick joke. I think it's one or one two. One or two. Yeah. And platitudes from a figment... <laughs> figment. Of my imagination, no less. Who said I wasn't a figment of your mind? But you know the truth. You don't need someone else to tell you. You've always known it. Everyone knows it. They just won't see it. We're overwhelmed with stories from our earliest days. The stories others tell us, and the stories we tell ourselves. These stories are how we try to make sense of our lives, but they are not real, are they? They're just stories. You need to drop your story and see the truth. Stories are real. If they mean something, if they inspire your kindness or, or action, but maybe Max's story about himself is all wrong, and that's why he's so unhappy. Your mom is right, Max. Your story blinded you to the truth and loaded, lo landed you in prison. Seeing the truth is easier said than done. How about we cut to the chase here, lady? Uh, Figment. Shut this crap down, Max. You don't need this. I think it's it. I think it's one. I can see two as well. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Look where we are, Max. Trusting an unbalanced hermit with your sanity seems rational to you. 
Didn't your story push you to study band works to unlock the secrets of the plan? No, I just wanted to prove to my parents that I... That... Oh, he just has parent issues. You're right. Max, you need to lay the past to rest. What happened with your father and I, it's long dead. To attain your goals, you must live the chaos. Be fine with the chaos. Whether you resist or not, it will take you wherever it wants. More assuredly than even the fictional architects plan you sleep away to prove. No, that's not true. The basis of everything is order, not chaos. It's true, I know it is. So did you. Why are you denying it? Before you died, the plan made you happy. No, it didn't. I made myself happy. There's nothing holding you back but you. If you can't understand that, you will never understand anything. Goodbye, Mexico. This whole thing, it's, it's, it's just a farce, right? Just, just my own brain working against me? You couldn't be more right. Oh, it's his dad now. Hello, Max. Dad? What? Who? Why do you look like me? Are you me? Not really. I'm who you think you are. I am disciplined. Control. I have no doubts. And I don't exist. Yet you have judged yourself against me your whole life. Why? Why do you berate yourself for not being me? Interesting. If he does, he shouldn't. He's a better man than he gives himself credit for. Yeah, Max, why do you do that? Let them talk. Max, I figured it out. You need to kill this guy now. Wow. Oh, actually, that makes a lot of sense. You have to kill the, the idea, the better idea of yourself. What are you talking about? He's yourself. You need to get rid of him. Get it? It's almost like a bad joke. I can do that. We have the advantage. Oh, he's actually fighting. Fucking hermits with their drugs. Are you supposed to do something here? Or? No, I think it's just having a moment. I see you're back with us. Feared we lost you there. Never seen anyone pass out yet stay upright before. What? What happened? I woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no longer interpreting, I'm experiencing. Everything is perfect. Glad you found the answer, Julian, for Max. You're either still hallucinating or you've gone insane. Really? Have you looked around the colony lately? I'm gonna go with one. In a way. <coughs> perhaps it's more accurate to say I was asking the wrong questions. I understand so much more now. I see it all. All there is to be experienced. To be lived. Of course there is pain. Max is cheap walk status. But the suffering is caused by trying to control reality. Clinging to the way you want things to be, not enjoying the way they are. Okay, boomer. <laughs> there may be something to that. You seem happy or at least not angry. I've had enough philosophers in the last... Like, just, just be nice. I am man. content. I finally found what I was looking for, even though I was looking for the wrong thing. We did good. We did good. Should we talk to her? I don't think it matters anymore. So, have you found your answers? Not so much found as finally, finally listened. listened. Yes, 
It is quite the convoluted maze we build for ourselves. Existence is simpler with your eyes closed. It takes courage to open them. Ooh, it man. looks like you learned That's something good. in there as well. Ask her if she's got some more product. Wow. Nope, I already knew that. I was just learning my I was just enjoying myself. Wow. I, I like believe to. I did. Hearing that brings me great joy, my friend. Wow, he, what if he's not a dick anymore? That would be great. Alright, so I guess we pick our next quest. Do you guys have any more uh of that of that of those dank buds? She did say it could kill you, so maybe not the best idea. Buddy dank buds are always the best idea. Hey man, what are we doing right now? I'm going to my ship. Why? Because I fucking hate you, that's There's why. There's another quest we can do here for oh, Felix. Oh. I guess we have to go to the ship anyway to get him. Yeah, stupid. Dummy. I mean, if we were smart, we could have just did that. Probably should just bring him with us, yeah. Probably should just bring him with us. There's just something more we have to do with this quest. Uh, Felix and Parvati. Oh, it, the other two companions are the last two, I guess. Okay. Then we have all of them. Uh, is there something more we have to do with that one? I don't think so. Maybe. Let's find out. Journal. Companion quest. No, it's done. Oh, okay. Completed. Um... I believe you, man. You don't got to scroll through all these. I'm going to find it, Michael. I'm going to look through these 400 quests. <laughs> Alright, so what do we have? We have Friendships to Bring Felix in with Harlow. Um, that's a Neoka quest. Oh, and then there's poor Parvati with her... With her... Her lover. Um, oh, okay. We, wanna, we don't want that one. We want the Friendships to, right? It's still here, huh? Okay. I guess it's not on this planet. Uh, it probably wants us at the other landing pad, maybe? Maybe. What? Doesn't show you going... Wait, hold on. Maybe you have to talk to him? No, it literally says here. What does the quest say? It says Clyde Harlow. What does the quest say? Travel to his landing pad on Cilia to have a chat with him. Yeah, all right. It doesn't actually say that there yeah, was no weird. quest marker next to it, so it's probably just a bug. Yoko's quest is meh, IMO. I feel like we should do all the companion quests, though. Just yeah, I might as well. Oh, that's real close. Hey, what up, my hey, dude? Hey, you. Looking for something? Where do you think you're going? I'm going to find my dude. Through you, if you push me. <laughs> Felix is Felix Millstone's with me. Clyde Harl is expecting us. Easy, big guy. I'm just looking around. Hey, nice form. Good delivery, too. You looking to join Captain Harlow's crew, huh? All right. Go on through. Say my name. Got my sights on you. Bort. Bort. <laughs> You're goddamn right. Hey, what up, space chicken? Kitty cat? Space chicken cat? Is this a door? No. Does that look like a door, man? I don't know. It didn't. That's why I was suspicious of it. How do I fucking get around here? I'm, I'm gonna take a guess that you can't go through the wall. The fuck? Am I like missing some kind of like secret entry or something? Are no, you man, seeing? You just gotta go to an actual door. What the hell's wrong with you? Do you see a door? Not in this exact area, but I'm sure there's a door around here somewhere. Or we have to go around this thing. Well, usually it would be like over here on the door. No, I guess no. not. If it's not like a, if it's not a transition, I guess. Yeah, you're being a real dick face. You know that. Did you know about your dick faceness? Did you go I'm to the just doctor? To get you about to go where you need to go, man. Are you? Did you ever go well, to the doctor? Hey there, hullhead. Heisenberg. Wow, out of the that's good. at long last. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, sorry. Were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see, or a you've aged, old man. 
Oh, jeez, this is awkward. Well, this... <laughs> That's fucking... I feel like I have to click that because it's exactly how I felt. Sure. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. He's been watching out for us just as much as we've been watching out for him. Felix's family, mister. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. How long is this going to take? We've got places to be. <laughs> tell me why we're here. I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. You want, you, want, you want to put him through a test? Then allow me to enlighten you. Felix is loyal to me. You expect me to just hand over my own crew? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Good luck. He's the least reliable crew on the ship. Literally called the unreliable. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I like one. I like three. Really? Yeah. All right. That you feel insulted is a testament to your affection for the boy. I'm not asking you to let him go. Not until he's ready. I understand that Felix is part of your crew. At least for now. If the thought of losing him troubles you, then understand that you're helping him solve a problem for an old friend. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him, and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. What did this Trask do to deserve death? Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was onto him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own in tuck tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the Groundbreaker, last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. There's more to this than you're letting on, buddy. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. It's a great idea. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. Okay. Something I'd like to ask you. Let's hear it. You said you're working on something big, huh? A revolution is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, freedom from the board's oversight. So you're a band of outlaws living on the edge of an asteroid. Some revolution? What makes you think you're free? Or it sounds like you got some plan to overthrow the board? I like one. Dang, you're so straightforward. Hardly. The board is rotting from the inside. Tomorrow, next year, a generation from now, eventually the board will fall to pieces. Entropy is the natural state of the universe, Captain. All systems inevitably dissolve. When that day comes to Halcyon, we will be ready. Oh, it's in a generation. You'll be dead. <laughs> so you're a band of asteroids, a band of outlaws living on an asteroid. Some revolution. Not all revolutions involve bloodshed and fire, Captain. The purest act of rebellion is to live according to one's own means, independent of any masters. One day, when the board is weak and Halcyon vulnerable, we may claim a piece of this system for ourselves. Until then, we bide our time. Okay. What makes you think you're free? The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of influence is shrinking. Besides, our facility is well armed and located on defensible terrain. If the board tries to lay siege to us, we'll make them pay. Okay, that's all for now. All right, let's call it here. We're in an hour and 50 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching this part seven. Really appreciate it. You guys have been great. 
This game has also been great so far. And uh, next time, we will be continuing Felix's quest and continuing. And we'll snooze the booge. Are we gonna snooze the? Bo that was a very that was a very I dubs thing to say. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Be sure to check out the previous parts if you missed them. Be sure to keep watching the future parts, and we'll get through the outer worlds eventually. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.